My view of the Earth from a distance of 15,000 miles away, about three hours and 40 minutes ago, Orion conducted the final major maneuver of its mission, a return trajectory correction burn of its thrusters to further fine-tune its path toward its splashdown site in the Pacific. We'll be heading out to the Pacific shortly for the first in a series of reports from the scene where Orion will be recovered. Shannon, uh, and uh, happy sailing out there as we uh, continue to watch this scintillating view of the Earth as uh, we are just one hour, five minutes away from splashdown. Now, as uh, Shannon Walker alluded to in that uh, interview with Daryl Nail on the USS Portland, uh, we're going to be on the air here for a couple of hours after splashdown while a number of flight objectives and test objectives are being conducted, uh, data gathering on the Orion spacecraft. But the whole recovery issue uh, to get Orion into the well deck of the USS Portland is no small feat. Entry interface has begun. Entry interface at 400,000 feet, Orion traveling just under 25,000 miles an hour. A good view out of the uh, cabin camera looking out of the uh, upper hatch of Orion. We should be performing uh, the skip entry maneuver momentarily. Good communications established with Orion. Orion now traveling at Mach 10. Orion's uh, speed now down to Mach 6. And we're on mains. 5,000 feet. Reefing in progress. Splashdown. From Tranquility Base to Taurus Littrow to the tranquil waters of the Pacific, the latest chapter of NASA's journey to the moon comes to a close. Orion, back on Earth. Unofficial splashdown time, 1140 and 30 seconds AM Central Time, 